How do you drop out of class? I need help. How do you handle DBA? There aren't easy credit classes to just do and get it over with. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, being call me Chris for short. So, I haven't posted in over a year and a half, but I'm back and I'm excited to be posting out new content and this might seem a surprise because <laughs> I haven't posted a video, but I am excited to create content to be posted. I'm excited to be posting new videos and to finally be in front of a camera again. So if you don't follow me, which you should, I posted a Florida virtual school. It was the first video I had ever posted on YouTube and it got over 14,000 views, which is a lot for a small channel like mine. And it's gotten a lot of comments and I still get a lot of comments now and a lot of people DM me asking me questions about Florida virtual school. So let's turn that off. So I thought for my first video back that I would answer the most popular questions and um, the most recent ones. I feel like the first sort of virtual school video that I posted, if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. I'll have it linked down below. It's kind of vague. Like, barely touched the surface on what Florida Virtual School is and I know a lot of people have a lot of questions and sometimes the website for Florida Virtual School doesn't give a lot of information. So I'm here to answer any questions that you have. I have them all on my iPad. So the questions I put into categories. The categories are application slash technical, classes and segments, DBAs, and advice. I'm gonna have all the timestamps for all the questions or even where the categories start. So if you would just want to skip through that, it'll be down in the description. So Let's start with application and technical. Question number one. Will Florida virtual school full time give me a diploma or will I have to do public school my senior year? By public school, I think this person meant by physical public school, not online. Yes, Florida virtual school is an actual school. It's actually a physical school. I believe that their physical school is in Orlando or their office. So you should have no problems that if you do all of your required classes and you do your requirements for graduation, you should get your diploma your senior year. Question number two. So how long is the process to get enrolled in online school? So it took me about a month to hear back from them, but the application process isn't very long. You fill out your application, they ask you questions on if you are a person that does well um, online, do you have a stable work environment where you're not going to be bothered, um, what is your schedule like, what type of learner are you, have you had any problems in school, questions like that that I feel like are super important because not everyone does well online, even though because of COVID, we mostly are online. But it wasn't anything hard. It was something quickly that I did with my mom. It took maybe less than 20 minutes. And then I had to submit my transcripts. So I went to two different high schools before I went to Florida Virtual School. So I had to get those two different transcripts to send to Florida Virtual School. And I'm pretty sure I had to mail them. I, I don't think they could be sent electronically. It might have changed just because of COVID and everything. I sent in my transcripts and then maybe two, three weeks later, I heard back from them from an email saying that I had been accepted into the program and that I would be getting my courses and schedule very soon. Question number four, what laptop do you use? I'm starting Florida Virtual School soon and I'm confused on which laptop I need to buy. I was looking into a MacBook since I use an iPhone and they would both be compatible with each other, but I am not sure. So you don't need a fancy laptop to do online schooling. I had a MacBook 2011, MacBook Air from 2011, and it was slow, but it worked perfectly fine. As long as you're able to access the internet and do a Word document, I do not recommend having using a phone or an iPhone. It, I just wouldn't work. I don't see how that would work, but you could get away with using a tablet that has a keyboard. Um, not a small little Kindle, but like an actual tablet that like, which is like, that will go on Safari or has web. And you can attach a keyboard and that would probably work fine as well. It just depends on the type of person that you are. I need to have a, lap a laptop so I can have a bigger screen, be able to do notes on the side, and it was easier to do Word. So the next category is classes and segments, and this one I believe is the one that had the most questions. So what are easy credit classes to just do and get it over with? So I wasn't gonna answer this question, but I thought it was important. I'm not gonna be that person to be like, oh, all the classes are hard, you should be like focusing on all of them. Definitely the electives are much easier than your core classes, just because they're electives, they're not core classes. I did have more difficulty in math and science, and my electives were a little bit more fun and easy going, and I, they did it more interactively because it was less information that I had to learn for my core classes. But there aren't like an easy class where I'm like, you take this one and you're like, you take all these classes and you're gonna have a breezy like year. 
it's like not like that. So can you access your classes on the weekends like on flight? Yes. Florida virtual school full time is 24 hours, seven days a week. You are responsible for your own learning. So you can log on whenever you want to do work. You want to log on on Saturday at three in the morning after you binged on Netflix? You do that. Like no one's going to be like on you and being like, oh, you haven't logged on today. If you're logging in from two in the morning to five in the morning. Like what type of schedule is that? Like no one is gonna be, I don't even think that they can tell what time you've logged on, but it's definitely available all time of day. There's no restrictions. It's like you're 100% online. However, your teachers are only available Monday through Friday from eight to three. Some of them do later. Some of them are only from eight to 12, eight to two, something of those sorts. It depends on the teacher and their schedule. So that's the only time where they're gonna be able to answer your questions. You're gonna be able to text them or call them or they're gonna be answering your emails or checking work. So please keep in mind that if you are gonna be doing work after that time, if you're not in a question, no one's gonna be there to answer it until the next day. How do you drop out of class? I need help. If you're on Florida Virtual School full time, this doesn't regard to flex, you can drop a class at flex, but you cannot drop a class in Florida Virtual School full time. I think do not hold me accountable to that. You can switch out of a class if you're early, like if you just started, but you cannot just drop a class in the middle of the semester of your full time because that would be like dropping a class at a physical school. Like you can't just be like, oh, I don't want to go to my sixth period. I'm just going to leave and go and only have five classes. You're kind of stuck with your schedule after they have set it on full time. Sorry. What are your electives? So I took Spanish and AP Psychology. Those are my electives my junior year. But one of the reasons that I loved Florida Virtual School is because they had so, so many electives to choose from. My physical school only had like Spanish and French as languages. And I know Florida Virtual School has like Chinese. I believe they have American Sign Language. They have French, they have Spanish, they have Italian, they have ceramics, they have culinary arts photography, like so many courses that to choose from that are super fun and interactive. Those classes just weren't offered at my physical school, so it's nice to have those options. How long does it take to finish one class completely? So for Florida Virtual School, I believe it is 36 weeks. You are taking your segment one, which I'll get later into the video of what segments are. You're doing your segment one from August to December, and then segment two from January to June, um, but that's necessarily how long you'll be studying for. Again, you're doing it at your own pace. If you want to finish all your work in two months, which is possible if you want, then you do that and then you're just done for that um, segment. Are all the lessons live? And if you don't want to do live, is there another choice? Like if you have to skip a day for vacation, is there like work you skip or is it like already saved into the computer? No, the lessons are not live. There are certain times where your teacher will be teaching live and you can join onto that live lesson. But most of the time it is not live. You again are in control of your own learning, you're in control of your own schedule. If you if you need to go on vacation for like two, three days a week, you can speak to your teachers about it and get the work done for that week ahead and you'll just be able to go on vacation that week. It's very, very flexible. Your teachers are very flexible with your learning. They just don't want you to fall behind. So I think that doing the work beforehand shouldn't be any issue. So last questions in this segment is does does FOBS have summer courses? Yes. So FOBS does offer summer courses. They don't offer FOBS full time during the summer because no one in a physical school is in school during the summer unless you have summer school. But they do have FOBS Flex, which is just part time and you can take some summer courses to get ahead in your schedule or for fun or any electives that you want or any classes that you need to repeat. So the next category is DBAs. Before I even start on answering the questions to DBAs, I think I should give a little quick lesson on what a DBA is. So DBA is a discussion based assessment is what you usually take before you take your exam for that unit so after every four five six chapters or so you will have an exam but before you take your exam you will take your discussion based assessment it is just a way for the teacher to know what you have learned and what you know before you take an exam so it's a way of 
knowing if you are ready to take your exam or if you know the material for you can start your exam. Is the lesson taught together with other students because I have FLVS and my teacher wants me to join an online DBA session and I'm hoping it's not a video chat. And teachers more or less do it um, two ways. They either will schedule one with a bunch of students at a time and you'll log on at that specific time. And you'll log on and she'll ask questions, go over the material, go over the few chapters that are going to be on the exam and then you'll do a worksheet either separately or with your group of a group of students it's like a chat you'll answer some questions on the chat but it's more or less a collaborative assignment versus as some teachers do dbas on the phone you'll schedule a dba privately with your teacher at a certain time on a certain day before you take your exam and she'll ask you some questions on the material and more or less answer your questions on if you have any questions before taking your exam. It's an important way for your teacher to know if you know the material before you're taking an exam because they don't want you to fail. It's like a mini quiz before you take your exam. So definitely study for it. How do you handle DBAs? You definitely should study and prepare for them. You can do flashcards, do Quizlet, um, read your material, know your material because it is a way, again, for your teacher to know if you know the material and they will give you some wiggle room that if you don't know, they'll walk you to the answer. But you should know more or less where you should be looking. Some of them let you have open book, some of them don't. You have to know the answer from the top of your head and schedule them. It's just a way for your teacher to know what you know and what you don't and to help you before you take your exam. So they're pretty helpful. They're kind of scary, but at the end of the day, they're helpful. How many DBAs do you have to do for each course? In one segment, I believe you have four DBAs. It depends on the course and the difficulty of the DBA depends on the course as well. So your core classes will have harder DBAs than your electives. So last, and I think the most important of them all is the advice section of this video. So I have two questions for advice and I want to do a disclaimer that this is my opinion. It's not necessarily a fact, but I feel like you're asking for my advice anyway. So I'll do my best to answer these nicely. Is it possible to complete a 36 week course on FLBS in one summer? A 36 week course is usually done between, again, August, I'm like repeating myself, <laughs> between August to December, or January to June. It's definitely possible. Speak with your academic advisor on if they will let you take a 36 week course over the summer. I've never taken a 36 week course over the summer and I don't know anyone that has, but it's definitely possible if it's the only course that you're taking and you're spending at least four to six hours on the course because it's a lot to be only taken in two months. But it's definitely possible if you put your mind towards it and this is what you're doing, that's the only course that you're taking or you're repeating this course or you just want to get ahead, it's definitely possible. And last question in this video. Hey, I have a question. I'm here to answer it. <laughs> I really liked your video. Thank you. I do Florida virtual school and I get homeschooled halfway through the year and for seventh grade and it's hard for me to keep up. Do you have any advice? It is hard for everyone. Don't ever think that it's easy for everyone else and that you're the only one struggling. I definitely struggled with Florida virtual school and I wasn't it. I was a junior in high school. So the advice that I would have wished someone would have given to me is study. Don't Procrastinate. Procrastination is your enemy for a virtual school. Lay out a plan on what you want to get done throughout the day and do it and stick to that plan. Be like, I'm going to study from 8 to 12 and then from 12 to 4 or 12 to 2 on a calendar and lay out. I'm going to get this done by this time on this day at this day. So every single day you wake up and go, this is what I have to do. This is the lesson that I have to do and this is the assignments that I have to do for that day leave time for yourself like it's also not school don't spend the whole day trying to get something done or trying to figure out that math problem take some time walk outside take a breath like sometimes i felt that it was overwhelming just because i was in control of my learning i felt like i wasn't doing enough but you again you are your own pace and if you don't feel good that day don't do a lot of work that day take a breather take a breathe in and out do something fun go outside play a sport go to the pool go watch your favorite show on netflix florida virtual school it's flexible in that way that if you want to advance you advance if you're a little if you want to take it a little bit slower you take it a little bit slower so i hope i answered all of your questions in this video if you have any other questions please feel free to leave them down below and i'll try to get them as soon as i can i might even do a part three if there are enough comments on this video just to further explain any more other questions that you have 
but that is all and click the like button if you want to see any more of these videos or more content in the future and if you like me and want to see me more often please subscribe to my channel as it's going to be a fun ride putting out more content and filming more videos and i'm truly excited to what i have in store for you guys bye